So I'm going to talk you through the control boards real briefly. If you purchased a kit from us, you'll find the control boards in a plastic case like this. And this is an Alexmos 3-axis control board. So open it up. Inside you'll find a bunch of wires for connecting the third axis board to the main control board. And this is your third axis expansion board. Then the larger control board is your main control board. And then small little control board is your IMU sensor. So now I'll talk through the different parts of the control board. If you have a pre-programmed control board from us, then when you're connecting your motors, it's very important that you do it in the following direction. So with your motor, take the lead wire from your motor, and on one side you'll see some metal connectors. On the other side, it's just all plastic. So where you see the metal, you want that facing up in the same direction as all the electronics on top. You'll put it on with the metal of the lead wire facing up the same direction as the electronics on the control board are facing up. These may be bent, so if they're bent, then it's going to be facing in. So make sure all the motors, these are your two motor connectors, and on the third axis expansion board, you'll see three prongs here, and you'll connect it in the same manner. If you don't connect it this direction, say it's flipped around, then once you turn your control board on, your axis might start tweaking out, and you'll get some jittering. So we've programmed it, so the motor leads will be this direction. You can switch that in the program, and once you get into the programming, you'll see how you just need to click a button and you can switch the direction. On your control board, you'll see if you flip it around to the back, everything is labeled. So it's very easy to connect everything right here. For instance, if you want to connect the lead wires for your battery, you'll see that right here, and it says BAT, positive. So this is the positive side for your battery, and then this is GND for ground. And in the kit, you'll find the connection like this, and that's what you're going to solder on to these two spots. And for this DC connector, you'll see one of the wires is dotted, and that's the positive side. So you can connect another battery if you want. If you want to connect a lithium polymer battery, then you can do that, but don't exceed three cells. And um, the, the settings in the software are also going to be different than the settings we have on our control boards. So if you want to connect to the third axis expansion board, you'll see right here on the control board where it says yaw. Your yaw axis is your pan axis. So that is what this control board is going to be controlling. So for the yaw, it then says GND, GND, BAT, and SDA. And you'll notice on this control board, it says the same things. Set that down. So we'll flip it around. On the bottom, you'll see GND, GND, VCC, which is the battery for your power, SDA, and SCL. And you'll just use the cables that, that it comes with and connect these together and make sure you're going to the exact same one. If you switch these wires, then you could fry your control board. So once you have them connected, double check, make sure everything lines up perfectly. And then on the opposite side, this is where you're going to connect your motor. So we'll set that aside. Back to the main control board. You'll see here it says pitch. So the pitch is going to be connected to your tilt axis, the tilt axis motor. You'll connect that on here. And then the roll is for your roll axis. If you want to connect to a receiver for remote operation, you can connect a, either a joystick or a remote control. You can connect that receiver in right here, and you'll have to solder on the pins for that. 
but everything here is labeled. So if you want to connect to the receiver, just follow this arrow over here, and it says receiver pitch, receiver roll. So that will go right here and right here. And then you'll be able to go into the program and actually set your settings for your receiver or for your joystick. If you want to connect a button or a mode switch, right here it says BTN. So this is for button. And there's positive and negative for connecting that button. And then you can switch between different modes if you want to be in follow mode or then hit the button and switch to a straight mode. You're able to do that by soldering a button on right here. The sensor as well, you'll see on the back of the sensor, it's labeled GND, 5 volts, SDA, SCL, and then the last thing is INT. You don't really need to worry about the INT. But the other four, you will solder these pins on, and then you can connect this with the back of the main control board. Right here it says I2C, so this is your sensor. And you'll make sure that these line up right here. And that's what the four pin connector is right here. You'll use that to connect your sensor. So if you solder anything on, make sure you check your control board very well for any solder blobs and make sure it's all cleaned up before you connect the power. Um, one last thing is your USB connection right here. This is what you'll use to connect to your computer and then you can change any of the settings in the software. So everything is pretty straightforward. It's all labeled. So just make sure you have it connected properly and you should be good to go.